We start by buying any Blizzard Crown. Blizzard Crowns are popular because of their implicit. I recommend buying the base with the lab enchant that you need so you maintain your sanity and don't have to farm uber labs at the end. Now we apply Warlord's Influence and get the quality to 28% or higher with perfect fossils and a gilded fossil for good luck. Now we apply Deafening Essences of Rage to force on strength. Evasion in ES bases cannot naturally roll strength. We're rolling for gain accuracy rating equal to your strength, which is a Warlord suffix. Now we have to have an open suffix with this craft, so this part sucks. You have to raw a null and avoid hitting the strength mods. I missed it on the first try. I rerolled with the essences and got it to here. Next we add suffixes cannot be changed. Because we don't have full suffixes, we have to use the crafting bench. Now we hoarder craft reforge with a crit multiplier. The only possible crit mod on this base is critical strike multiplier, which happens to also be a warlord mod. Suffixes cannot be changed means suffixes cannot be removed. It does not mean suffixes cannot be added. Now we use an orb of dominance and have a 50% chance to hit the accuracy mod. Got it. Now we fucking do it again and get the crit multiplier mod back. This time I was lucky and got a tier 1. Now, with full suffixes, we could use the Wild Bristle Matron Trick. To force on, suffixes cannot be changed for a cheaper price. The first complete. Now we hit it with a Veiled Chaos Orb. My thought process here was to block life to guarantee at least 70 life on the helm via Benchcraft, and aim to get the Unveil plus 2 to socketed Area of Effect gems. But we missed it. We did, though, hit a Life Veiled mod, which was interesting, right? Because we block life theoretically, but we weren't really blocking the life mod. If you really want plus two to area of effect gems, you probably should block the projectile pierce mod instead. But it worked out. With an open prefix, I tried hitting it with a raw exalt and got tier two life, catapulting life to a beautiful 109 plus to life and giving it some boost to the evasion and ES in the process. This let me just craft on plus one to socketed area of effect gems. What a beautiful strength stacking helm, right? This one's sold for 80 divine.